I'm Professor Hans Larsen at McGill University, and this is my office in the Red Path Museum. My research and my lab uh, works on macroevolution. So we work with fossils, we work with uh, anatomy, we work on expeditions to collect fossils, and we also work with embryos and, and modern developmental systems. And the idea behind all this is to see if we can build a big picture on what goes on in millions of years of time in terms of anatomical and developmental change. These are my, my two favorite uh, study species, so crocodiles and birds. They form what's called the archosauria, or the ruling reptiles. And within this clade, or, or big group of animals, fit dinosaurs. And we, as we look here inside an alligator skull, I think you can appreciate just how complex they are on the inside. All these spaces are air-filled, muscle-filled, nerve-filled, and so the anatomy is just spectacular. Here is a, another piece of anatomy, this is a human skeleton, that I use for teaching. And this is fun because students get to see their own anatomy in the course. This is a cat brain that has stuck around with me or followed me around for, for more than uh, two decades now. This I, I dissected when I was an undergraduate taking a comparative anatomy course at McGill and it's just followed me around ever since. This is a souvenir that I picked up while, while doing some work in southern Brazil, and it's a solid uh, metal cast of a, of a sauropod dinosaur. Uh, and the, this, this single souvenir weighs about two pounds, uh, but it was enough to carry it back into my suitcase. These are some bird embryos, and we work on, on birds in particular in my lab because if we can better understand bird embryology, we can also better understand the evolution of development in birds and their ancestry, including dinosaurs. These are some very unique fish from Africa. They're called polypterids or bishers, and they have extremely primitive traits on the inside and the outside. And, and I think you can see by here, they're, they're lobed, finned nature. And this is something that we started working on in my lab to really try and get to the fin to limb transition. These are some books that were very inspirational for me, and they deal with the excitement of, of discovery and visiting new lands. They deal with the pure anatomy of fossils and skeletal evolution, and how to test things in science. And testing is a big issue, especially in macroevolutionary biology, where it's a lot of history. So thanks for this brief uh, visit to my office, and if you'd like to come see me or the Red Path Museum, stop by anytime.